if the law of conservation of matter is true, then is the Big Bang theory acceptable? Because that would mean that matter had been created and will be destroyed someday and that violates the universal law. Hmm. So what is the Big Bang theory? The Big Bang theory says that about 13.8 or so billion years before today, all of the matter and energy that is present in the observable and non-observable universe, all of that was concentrated in a small, infinite, infinitesimally small point. Right? And somehow all of that expanded, space-time expanded, and that was the so-called Big Bang. And that gave rise to the, to, the, to the universe that we observe around us today. So what it says is that all of this matter and energy was already there. It was concentrated in a small point, an almost infinitely dense point. So it was not created, it, it was already there. And in the future, if there is a big crunch, which I spoke about in the last episode, all of that will come back together again into another singularity. So this, this uh, point in which everything was concentrated is called a singularity. Right. So nothing was created, nothing was destroyed. All of the energy and matter, matter energy E equal to mc squared, all of the energy that was present in that initial singularity, which was at the birth of the Big Bang, all of that is there today. Nothing has been created, nothing has been destroyed. So matter, energy, mass, energy is conserved. There is no creation or destruction. So that's how it is. Nothing has been created or destroyed and nothing has been violated. 